Are there any moms here? Yes! <laughs> Politely raising your hand, like, we are sad. Uh, <laughs> I'm a new mom. <laughs> oh my God, thank you. I'm like a really cool mom too. Like when teens are smoking weed, they always like turn away from me and I'm like, no, blow it in my face. Like, <laughs> Like, you're not supposed to smoke weed when you're pregnant. And I was like, okay. <laughs> Scout's on her, I'll try. Uh, and then I was like, you know, hypothetically, if I were to find myself at the Fuji's reunion tour, uh, like, now, what sort of ramifications could I be seeing down the road? And they're like, well, we tell pregnant women not to smoke weed because we don't really have any research on it. And I was like, I'll be the research. I started already doing some experiments on my own. And now everybody meets my baby and they're like, oh my God, he's so chill. <laughs> I'm like, I know, he was also microdosing Lexapro. <laughs> the world is hard. I said, give my king a soft landing. <laughs> he came out, he was like, whoa. <laughs> Pasadena is chill. <laughs> I'm not from LA. You can tell from my thighs. Uh, don't laugh! No. Um, I am from Indianapolis, the LA of Indiana. <laughs> and child raising is very different there. Like even the questions people ask me out here, like every question I get from other moms is, did you have a natural birth? Did you have a natural birth? And I'm like, yeah. Natural in the sense I writ front to back. <laughs> ooh, 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 ooh. Anything more natural than that? <laughs> What they're asking when they're asking if I had a natural birth, they're asking if I had an epidural, which is the pain medicine that people sometimes get to make childbirth even bearable. And it's a 12 inch needle that goes in your spine. And that's the easy way out. So when people ask me if I had a natural birth, they say, no, I had an epidural because I delivered in 2022, not an episode of Downton Abbey. <laughs> I pointed at my spine. I said, fill her up! <laughs> Mama wants a double! <laughs> Actually, I asked if they could knock me out. I was like, can you guys knock me out? You don't, you don't know the menu. We're not taught that. So I was like, can you knock me out? And they were like, no, we don't really do that for this. I was like, well, that's interesting. For my abortion, they knocked me out. <laughs> so if we're given a Yelp score... <laughs> I can tell you which experience is gonna get five stars. And it's not the one where my taint ripped. Did you, did you give vaginal birth? C-section. C yeah, yeah, yeah. C-section, that's when they slice you open, take all your organs out, take the baby out, and then jam it back in like you're a fucking Chipotle burrito. That's supposed to be easy too. I bet you didn't think someone was gonna yell, did you have a vaginal birth while you were at this show? <laughs> I tore, obviously. Badass. Uh, this is when men always tighten up. They're like, Ooh, and it's like always little bitches that look like they watch UFC. <laughs> it's like, you can't listen to me talk about my vagina tearing? What a fucking baby you are. <laughs> yeah, I tore and then it healed up. <laughs> like a snake. <laughs> I had a second degree tear. Oh my God. <laughs> I know, and look at me. I look like a Fox News bitch. I'm badass. <laughs> I had a second degree tear. I didn't know what that meant. All I knew was that one of my friends tore so badly she had to get Botox in her butthole. <laughs> And I was like, I know insurance doesn't pay for that. <laughs> like, if there's one thing I know about this country, they will let a woman's anus flap in the breeze. <laughs> <laughs> so she was like, you had a second degree tear. And I'm like, did my butthole tear? Crazy thing to yell in a hospital, did my butthole tear? <laughs> She was like, no, but to check, do you want a mirror? And I was like, what's a mirror gonna do? Sew me up? And then she was like, no, a mirror. Do you wanna look in a mirror? And I was like, do I wanna look in a mirror? What kind of sick psycho says yes to that? <laughs> no, I don't wanna look in a mirror. I wanna be able to eat lasagna again someday. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> my
You've got a Steelers hat on. I fucking hate the Steelers. <laughs> and you know why? It's the fans. Uh, it's the fans. <laughs> it's not even the team. I like the team. When the coach tripped a player, I was like, I love him. Uh, <laughs> I love him. I'm a, I'm a sports fan. I don't want you guys to think I'm like a guy's gal. I hate all of you. I hope you die on the way home. Uh, I just love sports a lot. Um, I got into sports because I'm the youngest of all boys. I have two older brothers, and I wanted my dad to love me more. Uh, and it worked. I had a beautiful wedding. Um, yeah, surf and turf. <laughs> DJ and band. Okay, like, I got married in Palm Springs. My brothers got married in Michigan. Losers. Uh, I love sport. My husband likes sports a lot. I have a husband. Uh, he likes sports. I'm convinced he's going to cheat on me, though, because he has no allegiance to sports teams. None whatsoever. Blows with the breeze. He's like, well, I grew up a Bulls fan. Not from Chicago, so that's a red flag. I grew up a Bulls fan, and then I became a Pistons fan, and then I became a Cavs fan, and then I went back to being a Bulls fan, and then I went back to being a Cavs fan, and now I'm a Lakers fan. And it's like, okay, you're gonna fuck the nanny. Uh, that's great, you can't just hop around like that. You gotta be loyal. You gotta stick with your teams. He, he liked all these teams when they were in their championship era too, making it even worse. It's like, I'm not in my championship era. I'm down and out right now. Sometimes I strip completely naked and stand in front of him and go, look at my body. This is a rebuilding year. <laughs> Enjoy the rest of the show! Megan Gale.